Good afternoon, Europe. Good morning, America. And shush. Australia's trying to sleep. Hi, everybody. It's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. And ever since we broke our back and blistered our fingers working for Farmer Yoon to get his farm up and running, we have wanted to own it. And now, in patch 5.2, that opportunity is going to arrive because Nana Mudclaw has decided enough is enough and she's too old and she wants to retire from the council and wants Farmer Yoon to take her place. So she's going to start an epic quest line for us with which we are going to acquire the farm off Farmer Yoon for ourselves. It's going to take us flying around on terror wings, fighting Mogu invaders, sneaking into tunnels away from those little vermin to grab the golden spade of Mokhtofha. No, it's not at all. It's it's us just speaking to a fat panda. That is, I've got to say, the Tillers has been a success story of Mr. Pandaria faction-wise, as far as I'm concerned. It's probably the only faction I felt a genuine connection with and felt was fun to level up. The Golden Lotus, Shadow Pan, August Celestials to some degree, Klaxi, definitely. I've had a loaded shotgun ready and fitted it for my mouth on multiple occasions while doing those dailies. <laughs> so I was really, really disappointed at how quick the acquisition of this farm was. Just speak to Nana Mudclaw and then speak to Farmer Yoon. It was all so simple. Very disappointed indeed. Blizzard, surely, surely, surely you could have done something. There was uproar at first because initially we were going to just be able to buy the farm off Farmer Yoon. But people didn't like that because of the way that Yoon had expressed his desire to keep the farm in his possession because it had been in his family for generations. So they tweaked it that Yoon would join the council, but needed somebody he could trust to take over his farm and run it for themselves. But, there's always a but with Blizzard. Once we do acquire the farm by just speaking to him, suddenly the little hut becomes a place of rest and you can use it as an inn. You can click onto that book and set your hearthstone to this place. The cynic inside of me can't help but think this is a way in which to try and make portal shards, which you can grow, finally useful. Because if you saw my video on portal shards, they are about as useful as chocolate fire guards. And there's absolutely no denying that whatsoever. But, 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 part two. You will get this big block of wood appear in your farm. And it will give out work orders. And work orders are literally working for various factions around Pandaria. And you can select two with which to actually complete. Because you have 16 plots of land and each one will require eight plots with which to complete it. So at any one time you can complete two of those orders. If you do complete those orders, you'll get yourself a tinsy wind winsy little bit of rep. Not much at all, just a tinsy, winsy, winsy little bit. But to help with the plantation, you no longer have to buy individual seeds like I'm doing at the moment. Instead, you can buy them in packs and they each now have charges attached to them. So once you use a charge, it will suddenly go down to nine and then use another or go down to eight, etc, etc, etc. So in theory, you're buying seeds in bulk. But not only that, it also expedites the plantation of the seeds too. Because very much like a position spell, you can drop a ring around various plots and then hit your left mouse button and it will plant all of them at once. Very cool indeed. So now that I'm on the plots of land, let me just grab one of the packets. There you go. Position it around four of the plots. Et voila. They instantly are planted. And thankfully, they're instantly planted with all their various crap attached to them. <laughs> oh, God. But... That's the first part of the work order taken care of for one of the factions. It then brings up the second part, which isn't going to be difficult to work out, is simply to grow the various crop and then harvest it for them. Now, you don't need to see me get rid of all the nasty shite which has attached itself to my melons 
and my witch berries. So with the aid of modern technology, I'm going to fast forward nine hours into the future, although I think I slept in a bit and then, you know, went to the shops. And uh, Anyway, this is the next day and all the crops are beautiful and grown. There's only one problem. There's been a an update on the PTR since <laughs> I last recorded the footage. And it seems to have broken virtually everything to do with my character. I couldn't farm half the Witchbury Seeds. It just didn't actually set. I can't cast half my spells. I can't cast half stones. Um, I can't pick up any of the tools in the farm anymore. Blizzard have just done an amazing job of breaking the PTR. But thankfully, I was able to actually harvest those melons. So once you have harvested all the goods... Yeah, I'm trying to pick up the plow to show you the new plow technique because it is actually going to hurt the vermin, but don't anymore. Anywho, I'm just going to complete the quest by handing it into this little cart, and then if you were to get any rep, it would show up. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, and also please do like my Facebook, and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon, if the PTR's not dead. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.